NFL Week 4 Super Contest picks. Chris, you are sitting at 7, 6, and 2. You went 2 and 3 last week. I am 8 and 7. Uh, I am 3 and 2 as of last week. So I will let you start us off because you have got a better profit than I do at 7, 6, and 2. So go ahead and give me your first pick here. I'm taking the Browns and the Vikings. I'm going. I'm going with uh, with my Brownies. I, uh, I I just think they're the better team. I think that uh, they're going to give the Vikings a lot of problems. I can uh, I can see that. I can see that. The first game up for me is Washington in Atlanta. Washington is a one point favorite. My line on this was actually Washington minus four. I know that Atlanta got a win against the Giants last week, but everybody's getting a win against the Giants. I think Washington can score enough to keep up with the Falcons. I also think that their defense is better than they looked against the Bills. So give me Washington minus the one on the road. What's uh, what's game number two for you? I'm taking the Panthers. Okay. At the Cowboys. I I just just think they're playing really good football. I think they're going to keep it close. They might get their first loss, but it won't be a blowout. I can can feel that. I can feel that. Uh, Game number two for me, game we just talked about. Raiders plus three and a half at the Chargers. I think the Raiders are the better football team. Even on the road, I don't think they should be catching points in this spot. Chargers look good against a a bad Chiefs defense last week, but Raiders defense is better. The Raiders offense playing really well right now. I kind of trust Derek Carr, which may get me into trouble, but I'm going to take the Raiders plus three and a half. Uh, Game number three for you. Uh, We're going to go head-to-head on that game. I'll, I'll take the Chargers. Okay, okay. I can get down with it. All the same reasons that you gave earlier, right? Yep. I like it. All right. Chargers minus three and a half. Write it down. Uh, Game four for me, Colts plus two at the Dolphins. I think the demise of the Colts has been greatly exaggerated. No, they did not look great against the Titans last week. However, the Dolphins are, I think they had to pull a horseshoe out of their ass last week to be able to get that game to overtime. Uh, Jacoby played okay, but he wasn't great. I think the Colts are going to go down there. I think the Colts are going to win the game. So give me the Colts plus two at the Dolphins. I'll take the Eagles, and I'll take those nine points from the Chiefs. Once again, the Chiefs haven't covered but one game in the last 12 or 13, whatever the number is. Uh, 14. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to keep betting against them until they cover. That's, that's not a bad strategy, my friend. Not a bad strategy at all. Last game for me, game number five. The New York football giants are going to New Orleans, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first game for the Saints in their home stadium. So, Saints minus 7.5, I'm going to take the Saints. Like, I've I've bet on them a lot this year. They have won for me quite a bit. Now, I bet against them last week, but I'm hopping back on the Jameis train. He looked good against the Pats last week. I don't think the Giants are anything to write home about. Uh, I'm actually going to look this up to make sure but I, regardless of where the game is, I think the Saints are going to win this by double digits. So give me the Saints minus seven and a half. Yeah, the hook scares me. The hook scares me off of that when I'm staying away. I'm going to go Ravens as they uh, pick them against the Broncos. I think they're the better football team overall. I like Baltimore a lot, and I think they go into Denver and they get a win. I can get with it. Uh, trying to look it up right now, and none of these, uh, none of these sites has. <laughs> They don't tell where the damn game is. Not a one. Even even the stupid New Orleans Saints schedule, like their their website, doesn't say. So <laughs> it's just so irritating. So irritating. Here we go. Here we go. It is at Caesar Superdome. So their first game since the hurricane at home. I think the fans are going to be riled up. I think they are going to be absolutely all in on it. So Saints minus seven and a half is my last one, and Ravens. Pick them at the Broncos is yours, and I can see all of them. This is going to be a fun, fun week of NFL football, my friend. Anything else that we need to hit on before I let you go and end the show? Man, that's it, brother. That is it. All right, brother. I will go ahead and hang up the phone, let you get out of here, and uh, and then I will close this thing out. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. All right, everybody. That is the end of the show. We appreciate you for hanging around. Of course, head over to winningcureseverything.com. You can find all of our picks that we just gave out in the pick section towards the end of the week. And, of course, the contest, the Pick'em Contest, seven college games, three NFL games. Go ahead and dive in, and you can win a $20 Amazon gift card. Make sure you sign up over there. This is going to be a lot of fun this week. 
Of course, Friday, our college football off the radar pick'em show. Going to be a lot to discuss. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.